Hello and welcome to a new issue of our video, Luft Video Online Training. Our topic today will be the Anacon. The Anacon is an analog digital converter which will uh, convert analog signals like current, voltage, impulse frequency or resistance into the UMB world. The Anacon will be connected with this DIN rail connector to the UMB station. That's an easy way to do that. Um, in addition, we have two channels which we can connect with analog signals. We have also here a label which will show you the different connection possibilities of the analog sensors. We have also Luft sensors, analog Luft sensors integrated into the database of the Anacon. So they can be connected very easy to the Anacon itself. The two channels need to be configured. The configuration will be done with the UMB config tool and you will see there is no RS-232 port to connect via laptop. So that means that if you have an Anacon station only with Anacons, you need minimum one Isacon to connect to the PC and to the UMB config tool. So I sh will show you now easily how to connect the Anacon to an existing UMB station. You use the DIN rail bus connector, you put it here on the DIN rail, you stick it together and you also install the Anacon on the bus connector and that's it. As an example, I will now uh, connect this analog temperature humidity sensor from Luft to the Anacon. So, like I told you, we have two channels for one Anacon and we have, of course, two analog signals for this sensor, temperature and humidity. So, I will connect them. If you do not know the connection, you can always check the label on the Anacon for the right connection. So this is channel 1, temperature, and second channel, humidity. So, now the sensor is connected. The next step will be that we need to configure this sensor for the Anacon with the UMB config tool. I want to tell you another important thing here. If you have more than one Anacon per, uh, per system, you need to address this Anacon. Um, so if you have two or three, you need to get, give them the address one, two and three. Also this will be done with the UMB config tool anyway. And you can mark this ID here on the sticker. So for the configuration, we will start the UMB config tool here. Then we go to edit, sensors. And then we have the type of sensor list here we will, where we will choose the Anacon. We will edit and now we have an Anacon in the selected sensor list with ID1. And if you want to check uh, the communication and the installation you can use the verify button. Then you will get and verify OK and now you know that everything is installed the right way, communication is stable. For the configuration you mark the Anacon here in the list. You go to the configure button, then you We'll go in, um, get into the sensor configuration menu here and then you strike the button load profile from sensor. Now the profile will be loaded. And you get some additional information now with the info button. You will get the serial number information, the name, and of course you will get the actual firmware which is installed on the Anacon. In this case it's 2.5. Then you can also choose the Anacon minus UMB button here. Where this is the configuration menu for the different, different signals, for the IDs, and etc. So here we have the general properties on the, on the left. And this is the menu where you can change the ID. So if you have more than one Anacon in your UMB network, then for example three of them, then you need to configure or change the address. You need one with address one, a second one with address two, and the third one with address three. And this can be done here in this menu, right? Only changing here 
the ID. So then you have the communication properties on the right. Normally standard um, baud rate line speed is 90,200. We have the protocol of course which is UMB binary. That's okay. Then you have the measurement setup here at the, uh, at the bottom where you can change or configure the different channel inputs. We have general parameters menu here where you can insert the altitude, for example, if you have a uh, pressure sensor. And then you have the possibility to insert the C12 and the C67 values for the temperature humidity sensors of Luft. Uh, in our case, we have this type of sensor installed and I've inserted the right C12 value, which is 1608 and the right C76 value, which is 1936. And you can also change the minimum wind speed, which should be uh, registered. So then we go to channel one. So this is the configuration menu of channel one. And if you open the sensor type window here, you will see the different possibilities. You can configure voltage inputs, current inputs, resistance inputs, re uh, frequency inputs, impulse inputs, digital inputs, PD100, PD1000 inputs, and then you have the special Luft sensors here like TFF, this is the combined temperature humidity sensor, wind sensors, uh, precipitation sensors, and also the CMP3, 6 or 11, which is a global radiation sensor. In our case, we have the TFF installed, so we will go to TFF, and then you see for channel one, it's the temperature channel, that's right, you have the unit, Celsius degree, we have the minimum and the maximum value, and so normally everything is configured the right way because that's a, um, that's a standard Luft profile sensor here in this um, menu. Um, we have the measurement interval, which is five, so, and number of samples over average is 12, so we get an average over 60 seconds here. But of course, you can change that. Then we can also use a channel description. We can change that here, so air temperature, for example. And then we go to channel two, and you see it's the same sensor type, of course, because it's a two uh, channel, a combined um, sensor here, the TFF with temperature and humidity. Uh, so the measurement category here for channel two is humidity, that's right, the unit is percent in uh, relative humidity, and so on, everything is okay. We have here again the measurement interval and the number of samples average over 60 seconds. And we have the description, so we change it also here, relative humidity. So after that, of course, everything is done. So we need to program the new configuration to the Anacon, which will be done with the main button and say store profile on sensor. Strike the button, profile will be stored now. And you will get the information config written to sensor. So now you can close this menu and we can we will be back at the main menu here in the UMB config tool. Now of course we want to check the values, right? So what we will do is we will activate the channels. So double click on active channels here and then of course we need to activate the right channels because it, de it depends on the installed sensor. In our case we have a temperature sensor on channel 1 so we will choose for channel 1 actual temperature. We will acti activate this. Then we can also choose the dew point because this is a calculated value. And we can of course choose the humidity, which is channel 201 here. After that, we use the OK button. Then we go to save and exit, file, and start measurement. And now you see you will get the actual data of the Anacon. Where temperature is 26.1 degrees Celsius, the dew point is 13.46 degrees Celsius of dew point, and we have the relative humidity in percent 45.70. So that's it. Now the Anacan is running, and we can close the UMB config tool. So now I want to thank you for your interest. Uh, about the Anacon. For more information, of course, you can visit our homepage. There you will get the possibility to download our manual of the Anacon. And hopefully, I will see you soon. Thank you very much.